um, the legislature just invested 2.2 billion using federal funds to help Washington recover from the pandemic. The plan also allocates 240 million to continue small business grants um, that started in 2020. The vaccine is coming, but small businesses which drive our economy need our help now. That's why the legislature passed a bill that gives businesses a $920 million tax cut in 2021 and 2.6 billion in cuts from 2021 to 2025 and ensures that the lowest paid workers receive a larger share of their weekly wages and benefits. Well, families and businesses need to get back to a sense of normal, but that can't happen if childcare centers and schools aren't able to get back to in-person. So we have to counter COVID-19 in our communities to make this happen. So we've allocated 618 million for vaccine distribution, contact tracing and testing, and epidemiology funding so that the governor's plan to vaccinate 45,000 people per day has the funding it needs in the short term to, and provides other COVID response efforts. Well, the governor's eviction moratorium has been necessary, but we need to address the backlog in rents. This democratic plan puts 362 million into rental assistance, foreclosure assistance, and for small landlords to stay on top of their mortgages. And it also allocates 49 million in food and emergency cash programs and requires food banks to serve anyone who needs help. Uh, it's no secret that kids are struggling with remote learning. And when school is in person again, we need to have every district have resources to get students caught up. This proposal also allocates 668 million in our schools to address learning loss, keep teachers on the payroll and get us ready to bring kids back to the classroom when it's safe to do so. I know as a parent myself that my daughter can't wait to get back to in-school learning. And it also allocates 50 million in grants for childcare providers, which is so essential to get workers back. There's a lot of work to do to recover from this pandemic and there are a lot of Washingtonians who are hurting. And that's why this democratic plan also allocated 6 million for healthcare for underinsured and uninsured individuals, 5 million for college student assistance and 66 million for long-term care and developmental disability programs. These are challenging times. Um, and I want you to feel free to reach out to me with any thoughts or concerns or ideas that you may have. And I'm available in multiple ways, Facebook, email, and, and even phone calls. So feel free to reach out and stay healthy and happy.